Good morning, Susie Cobden. This morning I wanted to read to you a short passage from a book called The Seth Material. It's by Jane Roberts. Seth is a channeled entity. And this passage is in regard to health, but really need not be. So here we go. This is Seth's, Seth's advice. You must watch the pictures that you paint with your imagination, he said, for you allow your imagination to full a rain. If you read our early material, you will see that your environment and the conditions of your life at any given time are the direct result of your own inner expectations. You form physical materializations of these realities within your own mind first. If you imagine dire circumstances, ill health or desperate loneliness, these will be automatically materialized. For these thoughts themselves bring about the conditions that will give them reality in your physical terms. If you would have good health, then you must imagine this as vividly as in fear you imagine the opposite. You create your own difficulties. This is true for each individual. The inner psychological state is projected outward, gaining physical reality, and this regardless of the nature of the physical state. The rules apply to everybody. You can use them for your own benefit and change your own conditions once you realise what they are. You cannot escape your own attitudes for they will form the nature of what you see. Quite literally, you see what you want to see and you see your own thoughts and emotional attitudes materialized in physical form. If changes are to occur, they must be mental and psychic changes. These will be reflected in your environment. Negative, distrustful, fearful or degrading attitudes towards anyone work against yourself. You must understand something else, Seth said. Telepathy operates constantly. If you continually expect an individual to behave in a particular manner, then you are constantly sending him telepathic suggestions that he will do so. Each individual reacts to suggestions. According to the specific conditions existing at the time, such an individual will, to some extent or another, according to the man uh, according to the mass suggestions he receives these mass suggestions include not only those given to him by others both verbally and telepathically but also those he has given to himself both in the waking and the dream states if an individual is in a state of despondency this is because he has already become prey to negative suggestions of his own and others now, if you see him and think that he looks miserable or that he is an incurable drunk, then these suggestions are picked up by him consciously, sorry, subconsciously, though you, though you have not spoken a word. And in his already weakened condition, they will be accepted and acted upon. If, on the other hand, under the same circumstances, you stop yourself and say gently to yourself, he will begin to feel better now, or his drinking is only temporary, and there is indeed hope, then you have given him this aid, for the suggestion will at least represent some small telepathic ammunition, ammunition <laughs> to help fight off the war of despondency. There are obviously ways in which you would mould your own conditions, protect yourself from your own negative suggestions and those of others. You must learn to erase a negative thought or a picture by replacing it with its opposite. If you think you have a headache and if you do not replace this suggestion by a positive one, then you are automatically suggesting that the body set up the conditions that will result in the continuation of that malady. I will give you a commercial that is better than your something or other. I, it's, it's a tablet. 
you will see the short headache. I will tell you how to have none at all. So he was talking about a TV commercial. Yeah, you can get rid of a headache if you take XYZ. Uh, this was the only touch of humour in the whole session. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's pretty much what Seth said on health. He was referring to health in a client that had approached Jane Roberts. However, it, I thought it was such an important passage that it really applies to everything in our life. So, you know, it's really important that we get on top of what we're thinking, what we're saying, um, be aware enough that when we start going down that path of telling a story that's not serving us or, or telling somebody about a physical condition that we have, to stop ourselves and replace it with something more hopeful. So I hope that's given you food for thought this morning.